How we doing today, people? It's your boy Yancey Man back with uh, another video. And today I'll be reviewing the PDP Red Spirit Bundle Pack, which includes a, uh, as you can see, a controller and a gaming headset. All right. This is one of those uh, once a gaming on a budget uh, videos. I guess online gaming because the headset, of course. Yo, online, most people like to talk. Um, anyway, I say budget. Uh, this set was uh, 58 bucks after taxes at Walmart. Um, I did see one that was a little bit more uh, by a different company. It was uh, 90 bucks. So we'll get this on the shot. All right. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, please turn on notifications so you'll be notified of future videos. Also, share this video. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Or well, take a look around the box real quick. As you can see, all right, Red Spirit Bundle Pack. Uh, this is a bonus here. One month of Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Game Pass. back of it okay as you can see right there you diagnose and adjust your triggers real quick if you want to pause it read it for yourself all right okay so there's plenty of information on the back of there side of the box and other side, 40 millimeter speaker drivers, remappable buttons, I'm gonna guess the nose on the back. Inside, controller, headset. Oh nice, eight foot Type-C cable, that's a bonus there. Instruction manual, also designed for Windows 10, 11, Series X, X, okay. All right, let's see what we get in the box. Well, we just saw it on the side, but I'm gonna take it out. Wait a minute, I think I got all the tape off of there. Okay. Oh, nice. I like the packaging. QR code, my thumb is over it for your um, one, month, <clears throat> one month ultimate game pass. All right. Let's see. That's uh, 20% uh, off. What the hell? 20% off coupon. All right. There's a QR code for you to scan. I don't know, just, just a little brochure. Nothing. And then of course, the instruction guide. All right. Don't think we need this. I had a few controllers. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I like that. It's a nice little coil on it. Sturdy. I'm assuming if it's anything like the set I have up and down is talk and mute. But I'll put them on and test it and see. A little branding on the side. Branding there. I like the design. Oh, that's smooth. No clicks. Nice styrofoam cush. Hmm. Oh, more cushion. 
above for your head. So that's good if you're gaming for long hours and you got your headset on. Uh, you definitely want it to be comfortable. Of course, uh, three millimeter jack and a controller. Okay, not too heavy, but I would imagine not since it doesn't have any uh, no batteries or battery pack. Buttons are nice and clicky. That's very important. Got the sure button, that's a bonus. Something I don't like about my Elite controller, don't have a sure button. Other than that, I like these. D-pad is okay. I'm used to a different style, but that's fine. And then your mute button is here. Okay. On the back. Nice click to them. That feels real good. That's your mappable buttons there. All right. Like a carbon fiber print. Not too thick, not real grippy, but looks good though. On the top, you got branding. Where your Type C charger go. All right. And your eight foot Type C charging cable. All right. I'm gonna hook this up and give it a test run. So uh, real quick. I'm gonna go through the software uh, that you need to update your controller and also uh, do some modifications, all right? So I'm on my, uh, my little tablet here and I went into the uh, Microsoft Store. And if you just go into uh, the search bar and type in PDP, and you're gonna wanna choose the PDP Controller Hub right here all right once in uh right here we'll say install as you see i already have it installed so we're just gonna open all right so i already have my controller plugged in plugged into the tablet and it shows you here an update is available uh, select this controller to begin the update. All right, so I guess we just click here. The controller needs an update. Press A to proceed. We're just gonna click begin. All right, so it tells you right there, don't unplug the controller or turn off your console. Or in this case, my tablet. So I believe you can download this uh, via console, maybe Xbox or PlayStation or whatnot. Okay, would you like to, would you like a quick tutorial of the main screen? Uh, we'll go maybe later. Okay, so let's make this bigger. All right, let's well, give me a tutorial anyway. Okay, just like on the back of the box, you can see where you can, uh, I believe, change the sensitivity of your triggers. And then here it's showing you, you can remap pretty much any button. Right here, if you click here, it's a button diagnosis. It says to confirm all the buttons are working. Uh, let's just try it. They should all be working. It's a new controller. So, green. Also, if it's, they're all working, if it's working, it's gonna turn green. Like, what if it's not working? Is it gonna fix it internally or what? So as you can see, I think we're all green. So the back pedals. Everything's working. Okay. Uh, here, go to vibration. Of course, you can configure the vibration settings. Let's see. So I like 
strong vibration. I turn my intensity up. You can, like I said, you can pretty much remap any button, but I won't be doing that. Uh, trigger, so let's see. Triggers are good. Audio. So you can increase the volume on that headset. That's cool. So we're going to make it 100%. And I like to hear, uh, depending on what I'm playing, really. More game, more chat. We're gonna go more game. No game value. All right. Mic monitoring. We'll turn it up to four. This is cool. I like this. server setup, audio configuration. I think I was just in that, yeah. So that's a brief rundown of the software, guys. Uh, so, oh, so once you exit each map and confirm, it automatically saves it. So there's no come out and try to save it before you unplug it. It automatically saves once you exit uh, the configuration. Okay, so I got the headset on. So it's pretty comfortable. Comfortable. It's really tight, and could be because it's could be because it's too uh, too small for my head. But you know, after a while, I'm pretty sure to loosen up. But um, let's take the jack and stick it in the bottom here. All right. Then we'll take the Type C cable. Uh, and then we're going to plug it into the Xbox. Well, plug it into my Kronos Zen, but it's plugged into the Xbox, all right? All right, let's see. Oh, let's see if I can find it. Okay. Forgot to mention, but I just found it. The Valiant Rocker is on the left hand side with the mic. Right there. All right. Sound is pretty good. They're not really, really loud, but didn't expect them to be. an update. Alright, I'm pause the video while this is updating y'all. Okay y'all real quick uh, it's gonna take about two hours for the call of duty to update so we're just trying something just to get a real feel for the controller and the uh, sound of the headset so we're going to jump in uh, Uh, Ninja Turtles. I don't know why I can't think of the name of this damn game. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, it's not like right, cool. So. so the rumble feels really strong. Um, I'm surprised that the price uh, feels really good. You already heard the clicks. Let's see how they feel during gameplay though. Let's 
So no lag at all. Uh, they are responsive. So far, I think it's worth uh, basically 60 bucks, but like I said, 58 after taxes. Uh, and for those who are wondering, I did pick it up at uh, Walmart, but uh, this is a fairly new company, so I'm almost sure you can pick them up at any retailer. They're trying to get their name out there and really trying to give uh, those other third-party companies uh, run for their money uh, for the controllers and uh, headsets. All right. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm a little rusty. If you haven't got this game, it's really fun. Uh, it's free for uh, anybody that has Ultimate Game Pass uh, on Xbox. Alright. Nice. Alright guys, so uh, overall I like this. Um, I like the controller more than like the headset. And uh, it's because I use a, a pretty good headset myself. So I know what good sound quality sounds like. But for a preteen gamer or somebody that's just gaming, you know, just to be fooling around, nothing too serious. This is perfect for them, uh, this combination. I get the controller feels real good. Um, I could definitely see myself using it. Um, but the headset, yeah. I mean, you can hear, it's just not really loud. And what I mean by that for me, it's not so loud that I don't hear what's going on in the background, but it's loud enough to hear the game, you know, if that makes sense. All right. Um, but overall, I would definitely recommend it for the price uh, if you just needed a set or backup set or something like that, you know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Um, as always, I encourage you guys to like and share this video. If you haven't already, turn on notifications. This is Boy Yancey Maine.